Okay, so another kinematics problem here. We are told the acceleration of a particle on a straight line is given by this function here with this initial velocity. Find the velocity function of the particle. Well, I know that position, velocity, and acceleration, if I do the derivative, I get all these. If I do the, these are derivatives here, derivatives with respect to time, derivative with respect to time. If I go in this direction, that means I have to do the antiderivative, the integral is in this direction. So I'm starting off at the acceleration, and if I want to find velocity, I take the integral of acceleration. So velocity is equal to the integral of negative, and I'm going to put this up top here to the negative one half dt. So let us go and do this one. Now when I do it, I take my function and I add one to my exponent, which will make it positive one half. And I divide by my fraction, which will end up with two negative stays. So when I pull it down, it will counteract and disappear plus c. This is my velocity at t. But I know my initial velocity, t equals zero, I get v at zero will be two. So if I plug that in, two is going to be negative two, zero plus one plus c. And so I have two is equal to, well, that's one times negative two, negative two plus c c is equal to 4. And so the velocity function is equal to negative 2 t plus 1 to the 1 half plus 4. Okay, now it says find the net distance or the displacement from 0 to 4. Well, if I want to find the displacement, the net distance, the displacement from 0 to 4 is going to simply be the integral of the velocity function, d of t. And I'm going to do that, and I'm going to do it from 0 to 4. That will find me the, dis the net distance. So if I go to my calculator here, I'm going to put my velocity function in here as negative 2 x plus 1 to the power of 0.5 plus 4. That's my velocity function. I'm going to turn it off because I don't actually... I'm going to use it? No. I'm going to go to quit this and I'm going to put this into my calculator. I'm going to go math. Number 9 is integrate from 0 to 4 and I want to integrate y1, which is alpha trace, and I'm going to do it uh, with respect to x. And so when I take the integral, I know that the displacement is 2.43. I believe I am in meters. That's going to be meters. And that is the net distance displacement. So even if I look at my velocity function, if I look at the graph, this is positive displacement, this is negative displacement, you have to subtract them to get the correct value. So you're going to do it. Now, which is dis different though from the total distance traveled by the particle. What I'm going to do for that now, this is b, for c, I want the total distance. I want it all to be positive values. So if I want to find the total distance, it's not the position, but total distance, total distance, I'm going to find the absolute value from 0 to 4 again, but I'm going to take this negative part and make it positive by putting an absolute value on it. This will give me the total distance. And so if I go in here, I'm going to go math number 9 from 0 to 4 again. And then I'm going to go math to number to ABS. And there's another shortcut for that as well. It would be function here. But I want variables, so y1. And then I'm going to be 
dx. And this will give me the total distance traveled by the particle meters. Also make note, you must put your units on here. If you don't, you will lose a unit point. We're told the units were spawned in units. So the key idea, acceleration, integrate acceleration, you get velocity. Integrate velocity and you get displacement.